And, and speaking of outstanding talent, this year Hot Docs is more than delighted to pay tribute to the extraordinary, passionate, and committed filmmaker John Kastner in our Focus on Retrospective program. Since 1974, he's made over 30 documentaries that have been nominated for and won countless awards, Emmys, Genies, and top honours at festivals around the world. His documentaries range, in his own words, from the very dark to the very dippy. And he's been described as a documentary Billy Wilder. And we have a few clips from the films uh, that we'll be, we'll be screening in the retrospective. Two sisters, lifelong rivals, face life apart. God, you look better than I do. One fights to get into a senior's home. Nobody has fun in a nursing home. We have to change them. The other fights to get out of hers. And I said, go ahead, hit me. And I said, the next thing, you're going to be on the floor. God, maybe they'll put me with one of the soldiers. Bunny and Leona, their lives come apart, their rivalry lives on. what is probably the most controversial new uh, hostess on television. I'm talking, of course, about Norton Lash. They say that a language is so explicit, the subject matter is so explicit, a lot of people find it very offensive. And uh, what side of the fence are you on about Norton Lash? Well, I personally find her offensive, similar to. I don't think there's any need for that type of language. Do you think that kids should be watching Norton Nash? Absolutely not. No. Not, 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 not. No, I mean... It's just, it's just too raw for them. I mean, you don't need that kind of rawness that, 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 that early in life. How would you rate Norton Lash? Do you, do you find that raunchier than Howard Stern or Jerry Springer? Well, how would you rate her? I think she's a little raunchy, which is good. I think sometimes it's good to get your point through. You have to be a little raunchy. John Kastner to the stage. What a cheesy way of getting your name in light sometimes. <laughs> Thank you so much to uh, Hot Dogs and to the National Film Board for this incredible honor. It's been an amazing year for me, you know, the uh, Donald Britton Award, the International Emmy, and now this. Oh my goodness, golly gosh. Uh, I've been making documentaries for over 35 years, so it was a pleasant surprise to learn that this is a mid-career uh, retrospective. <laughs> it has always been my ambition to be the Methuselah of the Canadian movie-making scene. Uh, there's a Monty Python skit, uh, Why Accountancy is Not Boring, and I think the overriding theme of my documentaries is to show that Canadians are not boring, although a lot of people say that they are. Uh, some people say that uh, we have perhaps the worst personalities for interviews. We are unemotional and low-key and uh, excessively polite and self-effacing. I think it's far easier to get great interviews in London and New York City. Um, and I've kind of made a career out of showing that there is great drama in the lives of ordinary Canadians. About 95% of my serious documentaries have been shot in Canada, mostly in southern Ontario. Certainly sometimes it has not been an easy task to get magnificent interview material from Canadians. Uh, you have to really dig deep to get it, you know. You have to work twice as hard, I think, as many of our international colleagues do to get wonderful interview material. But as a resource-based economy, we Canadians are used to digging, and I sort of think of myself as the Alberta tar sands of documentary making. <laughs> uh, There's a, pr a particular challenge, by the way, in my newest documentary. I'm filming something called NCR, Not Criminally Responsible. It's a film about mental patients who commit violent crimes, what used to be called criminally insane, no longer a term that we use. And these people are Canadian criminally insane people. They are not only unemotional, I shouldn't actually use that term, 
They are not only unemotional and low key and so on, but they're heavily medicated. So this is proving to be a particular challenge. Um, I'm so pleased to uh, be here. I hope you get a chance to look at the films. Uh, uh, and I thank uh, Hot Docs and the National Film Board and my colleagues here for this wonderful, wonderful honor. Thank you so much.